Welcome to CBH. Today we're talking about Jack Kirby as a co-creator of the Marvel Universe. This episode will focus on the mighty Thor. So we all know who Stan Lee is, but who is Jack Kirby? Jack Kirby is co-creator and a founding father of the Marvel Universe. No one can really say with certainty what was the nature of the creative discussions between him and Stan Lee, but no doubt they, with the help of Steve Ditko, came up with one of the best comic book franchises in history. It is important to see what Jack worked on before his work with Marvel that would strongly suggest his contributions went beyond simply just drawing, and that he brought many important ideas and concepts into his collaborations with Stan Lee, co-creating people like Thor. The Mighty Thor was created by Jack Kirby and Stan Lee in 1962 in Journey into Mystery 83. Although this Thor is the most famous, Jack worked on a couple of Thors before this version. Jack had a long relationship with the Norse gods and reportedly loved their stories as a child. His first Thor was for the company later known as DC Comics after leaving Timely Comics. This Thor was found in Adventure Comics 75, 1942, the villain from Valhalla. He would then return to the character in 1957 again for DC Comics in Tales of the Unexpected 16, 1957, The Magic Hammer. The Magic Hammer story in 1957 is interesting because we get a prototypical Mjolnir hammer held in Thor's hand, which would be the same hammer he holds in the 1962 version he co-created with Stan Lee. Here's a recolored image from the Kirby Omnibus Volume 1. Another cool precursor from this issue is that Thor's hammer is tested against the tree in this 1957 image here. Jack Kirby would have the Marvel Thor do the same thing in his first appearance in Journey into Mystery 83, 1962. Again, the tree is nothing compared to the hammer of Thor. The plot of the 1957 DC issue revolved around Loki stealing Thor's hammer. The same plot would be used in Journey into Mystery 92, 1963, where Loki would steal Thor's hammer causing a great deal of mischief. Another fun fact is that the first villains to fight Thor are the Stone Men from Saturn, and that these Stone Men have origins in Jack Kirby's fascination with the Easter Island Stone Men, which he first used for DC in House of Mystery 85, 1959. Then later in 1961, from Marvel's Tales to Astonish 16, Jack would bring the same Stone Men into Journey into Mystery 83, 1962, to fight Thor in his first appearance. Another interesting thing about the Thunder God's first appearance in Journey into Mystery 83 Stone Men were that they were from Saturn. So why Saturn? Well, Jack Kirby and Joe Simon worked on a similar plot for Fawcett's Captain Marvel Adventures 1 way back in 1941 where Captain Marvel was referred to as the Thunder God as he fights aliens from Saturn. The image below has the title of Journey into Mystery 83 1962 at the top and the panel from 1941's Captain Marvel by Kirby and Simon where he is actually referred to as the Thunder God. And this was a story where again he fought aliens from Saturn. Another key plot point in the old Thor comics from the 1960s was a love that Thor had for Jane Foster. And this romance point also appears to have a fun precursor in Young Romance 14, 1949 where a woman fantasizes about a handsome Viking lover and note the headdress on the bottom of the first panel. It looks just like Thor's. The Jane Foster romance point would then become another key side story within the 1960s Thor comics that Jack Kirby and Stan Lee would do together. So to sum it all up, Jack Kirby, before he ever worked at Marvel, worked on Thor, Thor's hammer, Thor's hammer destroying a tree, Loki stealing Thor's hammer, Easter Island Stone Men, Thunder Gods fighting aliens from Saturn, and then a Jane Foster type love interest. So it clearly makes sense whenever we open up a Thor comic now, on the bottom it's going to say Thor with a creator credit given to Jack Kirby. This ends the Thor section of the CBH Jack Kirby Marvel Comics co-creator series. Stay tuned for next episodes of CBH where we talk about other characters that Jack Kirby co-created with Stan Lee in 1960s Marvel. Stay tuned.